Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs. And today, check out what I got in the mail from Joe from JDM3D on YouTube. Um, he went ahead and sent me one of these 3D uh, printed uh, exhaust ports here um, for the inline fans. So we're gonna be upgrading from this silver one that we did earlier, um, where you have the clamp on it and the tape on it. And uh, he reached out to me, said that um, I should try this out see how it works for me because uh, it's all pressure fit, no tape needed, um, supposed to reduce the amount of smoke uh, still. So uh, looking forward to this. I'll show you guys a quick, t uh, quick tip on keeping smoke out from the seals too later with some electrical tape because um, I didn't do that previously and that's where it usually leaks out is underneath the seal. So I'll show you guys that. Um, but yeah, this actually has like a little stopper right here. If you can see that little line right there, it's a little lip going to stop on the edge there. This comes really well packaged in the mail so I highly recommend one of these so far just from seeing this. We're going to do a test here in a little bit. And then also in the package you get one of these little QR codes. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to actually scan this but this is like a little private video for anybody who purchased this um, from Joe. So I'll go ahead and add a link to his Amazon store below um, and then check this video out too if you can scan that. If not once you purchase it you can scan it then. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how I installed it and we're going to go upstairs to the Glowforge and we'll go ahead and install this now. All right, so as you guys can see, we've got the um, inline fan here. This is what I did previously seven months ago here. We just taped up these uh, reducers and we're going to put these new reducers on today. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to remove the middle since we're going to be working on the middle last. I'm going to be showing you how um, I'm going to clean this. This hasn't been clean for about seven months. I haven't done a huge amount, but I've done a pretty decent amount with this Glow Forge in particular. So we're gonna go ahead and take this apart. All you're gonna need is a screwdriver. I'm gonna use a real small one here. And then you're gonna loosen up these screws here. As you can see, when you get them loose, the whole center will drop out of there. Um, so I just did that a little tight here, and then this is what the actual inside of this looks like here. So as you can see, there's a little bit of dirt on there, but it really isn't that bad. But we're, we'll get to this in just a second. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to be taking off this tape here so we can get these new couplers on. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward getting all this tape off here. There you go. As you can see, we got one side off there. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the other side. All right. So as you can see, we got this other side off. Now we're going to put the couplers on both sides here. All right. So we got our little coupler here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just pop that on. It's supposed to be real tight fit. And it sure looks like it is. There we go, that's the first one. Now we got our second one here. Right like that. So what I'm gonna do is now we're gonna attach the hose. Just like that, there we go. So let's go ahead, we'll jump over to the inside fan. We'll clean that real quick, um, even though it looked pretty good actually. And then we'll go from there. All right, so as you guys can see, um, I'm going to go ahead and use some Simple Green wipes here. And if you don't have Simple Green wipes, you can just use regular Simple Green and a piece of uh, paper towel. But this is what I'm going to be using here. So let me go ahead and pull this out, and then we'll wipe this down here. And it's kind of hard to see on camera, and I've got some poor lighting in this room here, but... Um, all you're, we're going to do is just wipe each blade down here really quick. Alright, so as you guys can see right there is how dirty just the fan blades themselves were. And that's not even the most dirty part. The most dirty part is going to be down inside here underneath the fans, which I know you can't see it, but it is extremely dirty. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab another one of these sheets. And I'm gonna see if we can flip it over, see if it's better on the other side. Now, it's not really more access, but you can at least go through like these holes right here. And you can clean up the back side here first, and then we'll work around those fan blades next. All right, so as you guys can see, that's extremely dirty there. Um, that was just one of these. I'm going to use one more and fast forward and see if we get any more dirt out of the back, and then we'll flip it back over to the front here. There we go. So it was a little dirty, but we're going to save this for the front. We're going to flip it back over. And there's definitely dust in here between the blades on the side, so we're just going to kind of work in there and get as much of it as you can just working around, just like this motion here. And there you guys have it. So that is the entire fan there. I think that's clean enough for me. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. One other thing that we're going to be using when we put this back in this time is we're going to be using some black electrical tape. Um, and we're going to use that right around the seal here. And what that's going to do once it's in place is it's going to seal underneath these little metal bands. And that's going to help stop the, the preventage of a little bit of smoke leak that I did have in the past. And then these new um, uh, duct work that we put on um, is supposed to be airtight as well. So... We'll see how that turns out right after this. Let's go ahead and install this back into the fan and we'll go from there. All right, so as you guys can see, we got the arrow here. The airflow is gonna be coming out this way and you're gonna match it up with this arrow that's pointing that way as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of spread this open and drop this into place just like this. And then you're gonna get your clamp on one side here. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the electrical tape right after this so I can show you what's going on. So we need to get this clamp into place here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this clamp down a little bit. All right, so now that we got that clamp in there, we're going to tape this side, and then I'll clamp this down, unclamp that, and then we'll retape it again. Um, so let me go ahead and get the tape here, and we'll tape it together. So all I did is I cut a nice little piece like this off. I'm going to attempt to wrap it all the way around if possible. All right, so as you guys can see, we got a nice bead all the way around. I'll go ahead and do the other side off camera here, and then we'll clamp this back on. All right, so as you guys can see, we got the entire uh, thing assembled here. So we'll go ahead and do a test sprint here, see how much smoke it gives off, and we'll go from there. All right, you guys, so in just a moment here, it's going to start cutting and we'll see if it has any smoke so far with cutting. Um, as of right now with engraving there's absolutely no smoke and no smell whatsoever. So that's a definite improvement over what the other one was already so I'm already impressed with that um, and I really think sealing those seals underneath with the electrical tape was helping a lot here. Alright so it just started cutting out. Um, right now it's going to be doing cutting for 21 minutes straight so as of right now there's absolutely no smoke at all um, it's throwing off a lot of smoke in the machine but none is coming out of here so that's a good sign I'm gonna let this run for a little while and you guys can see if there's any smoke that comes out so far so good Alright you guys, so that was pretty much it. As you can see, we've got the uh, two couplers on there. There's no smoke that came out whatsoever, both during the engrave and the cut. Um, I think a big contributor to that was the electrical tape trick underneath these seals here. Um, you can't really even see it once you get it in there. I mean, you can kind of see the edges of it if you look really closely. But... Uh, other than that, uh, I would highly recommend these. This is a lot less work than having to clamp it and elect and use that duct work tape on it. Um, that was just a pain. This is as simple as just pushing it on until it snaps into place or twisting it if it's too tight and then it snaps into place. And then um, that's it. So I would highly recommend getting these from Joe. Uh, like I said, go ahead and check out his YouTube channel as well. Um, and... If these are sold out on Amazon, I'm sure these take a long time to 3D print, so give them some time. 
Um, but as of me making this video, it looks like they're in stock. So definitely check those out. Um, it's super easy to get them on and off. That they are tight, so you just gotta take two hands and kind of twist it off just like that. But yeah, I would highly recommend this. This is way easier. And then if you need to clean the insides of these, which I didn't show, but you just pop it off, run your hand around there with one of those towels, and then you're good to go. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I wanted to make a real quick video on this, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it helped you out. We'll catch you guys next time.